Spark Books here. Today, I'm going to explain the book, Speaker, Leader, Champion, by Jeremy Donovan and Ryan Avery. Take care, enjoy the book, and have a nice day. This book examines top public speakers' most successful speeches to see what makes them great. It offers detailed tips for improving public speaking skills for everyone, whether you're a beginner or have years of experience. Key idea number one, professionals need public speaking skills. Have you given a large audience speech? Have you ever presented a compelling case? Improving your public speaking skills is essential to career advancement in many jobs. Your first job interview required public speaking. According to research, companies value candidates' abilities to give clear speeches and presentations to large audiences during interviews. After being hired, public speaking helps you stand out. Job Outlook 2013, a poll of 240 firms, shows this. Communicating vocally inside and outside the firm was the most valued talent, scoring 4.63 out of 5. Public speaking skills will also boost your career. Public speaking skills will help you stand out to companies who are looking to promote. This will put you ahead of other candidates. This book's authors, in different ways, are living examples. Ryan Avery improved his speaking skills at Toastmasters, whereas Jeremy Donovan advanced in a business atmosphere. Avery became one of our most successful professional public speakers after Toastmasters training. Speaking confidently, effectively, and convincingly in front of an audience will be crucial throughout your career and can make you a highly valued professional. Key idea number two, public speaking and feedback boost confidence and skills. School presentations and corporate meetings require public speaking. We may all improve our public speaking skills and feel scared in these instances. Public speaking improves speech writing and delivery. Strong speeches go beyond good topics and correct data. You'll also learn how to make eye contact, project your voice, have a commanding yet friendly stance, and use humor. You'll learn how to properly format a speech, making it more engaging for the audience. Public speaking improves confidence. Taking feedback seriously and improving your weaknesses can boost your confidence. After learning how people see you, public speaking will become easier. Ryan Avery was successful because he used feedback to develop. He fumbled and used filler words like um in his first address, distracting the audience. This was excruciating for him and the audience. He then improved his speech using Toastmasters feedback. A few years later, introverted Avery, who couldn't speak to strangers without being anxious, became a world champion in public speaking. He loves and works in public speaking. Like Avery, feedback won't always be criticism as you improve. Your presentations will likely be well received. Take this feedback carefully and compliment yourself on the back. Key idea number three, pick something that interests you and your audience. Before writing a speech, you'll undoubtedly ask yourself, what should I talk about? To write an excellent speech, choose a topic that interests you and your audience. First, consider your audience. Your speech should affect them. When you give a Christmas address to your family, you'll probably talk about love or family values, not your company's new business strategy. This makes your audience feel valued and inspired. Second, speak as an expert. This involves knowing and loving your topic. If you detest science, you won't be motivated to give a decent microbiology speech. A speech without emotion will never inspire others, regardless of its form, words, and facts. Since he spent his life fighting for a free and democratic South Africa, Nelson Mandela's talks on his ideal were deeply moving. He would have struggled to discuss the latest iPad, just like Steve Jobs did with racial segregation. Both spoke well on things they cared about. Every speech has a theme, and if you pick one you care about, it will be better. Key idea number four, focus speeches engage audiences. A good speech might nonetheless wobble and lose the audience's attention. Why? because speakers typically provide too much extraneous material instead of focusing on their main point. Great speeches require focus. A seven-minute speech shouldn't have many points. If it occurs, you won't have time to fully explain and persuade your audience. Avoid irrelevant comments and side stories to keep the audience's interest. Distracting your audience with unnecessary material defeats the purpose of your speech, which is to influence them. Focus on one message to simplify your speech. A common rule of thumb for many successful speakers, focus on the essentials to convey your primary point in 10 words or less. Your dreams are not for sale, said public speaking champion Craig Valentine. Years later, audience members told him how deeply his lecture had affected them. Some turned from high paying jobs because they decided their aspirations were more important. To engage your audience, focus on one strong and catchy message. Be the one they remember years later because your words impacted their perspective. Key idea number five, verbally and non-verbally engage with your audience. Have you attended a memorable speech? Were you drawn to the speaker? Speeches should aim for a strong speaker audience bond. 
verbal and non-verbal abilities can establish and maintain this connection. How you want to seem to the audience is the first step to connecting. Want to be an informed educator? Want to evoke emotions? There are some non-verbal ways to present yourself. Keep good posture and eye contact. Use the room if possible. Mark Brown, the 1995 public speaking world champion, made use of the vast auditorium. He employed dramatic body language to be visible from afar and used the enormous room's acoustics to change his voice loudness depending on the topic. Verbal tactics can help improve audience engagement. Adjust your tone and tempo. When building suspense, lower your voice and raise it at the climax or critical message. Play with word choice, volume, and tone. A catchphrase or repeated words might help your listeners understand and follow your speech. Memorizing your speech lets you focus on engaging the audience. Thus, a good speech requires good substance and good delivery. Key idea number six, a speaking coach can greatly improve your speaking skills. Like sports, public speaking requires practice and a coach. A coach who speaks at your level or higher will help you improve. Speaking coaches are usually successful public speakers, so you might try to improve your speaking skills. They also know how to best teach others. Speakers like Ryan Avery credit their coaches for their success. Coaches inspire improvement. A coach can provide helpful feedback and teach speaking skills. To improve, you need a coach's input. They'll help you improve even the toughest talents, including audience engagement. Evaluations have made Toastmasters successful. Toastmasters members evaluate each other to reflect on what's working and what needs improvement. Don't be afraid of criticism. Feedback, especially from an experienced speaking coach, will boost your confidence over time. Accept it. Anyone can master public speaking with practice and determination. These abilities will boost your confidence and help you in many circumstances, from making your family feel cherished over the holidays to landing the promotion at work. To view more content like this, subscribe. Don't forget to like and turn on notifications. The channel really benefits from it. I appreciate you being here.